Well, hello, this is the second part of the Omni 2 Quick Start where we jumped on an AI bus and took control over it. And the first part got into the how you uh, load that up and then select an AI bus to, to do such a thing. Um, if you uh, load it up and you don't see any AI buses, then you have to go back and, and try a different day and time. Uh, usually in the morning, you, this should be in Berlin for sure. Should be several buses, and hopefully you, ha you can catch one in the middle of the route. If you catch it while well, it ends the route, it may shut the bus down, and then you won't know what to do. Just have to try it again until you get one in the middle of the route. Here we have a p couple passengers getting on, and we're driving the route now, and we have full control. And uh, I. If the sun, you notice the sun was coming in and, and there's, you just grab the, your mouse and you can pull the shade down a little bit. These buses are nicely detailed. I really enjoy um, how well the buses are, mo are modeled. Um, and, you know, the graphics are... Whoop, that car slipped by me. The graphics are, are good, uh, but they're dated, you know, so the textures are not as uh, you know it's not as modernized as they look like they're 10 15 years old actually but uh, the, the driving this bus and the, the bus itself once you start learning the uh, passenger wants to get off you see the yellow light come on you know, driving the bus and, and, and learning about the bus is phenomenal that's really what's well done in this game uh, and uh, you know, and, and even the scenery is, is is pretty nice. And there's a lot of downloadable content for nicer scenery. But the passengers, whoops! I clipped the curb, so people are not happy with that. With these guys, these yeah, you can notice that the, even the passengers are, are, are figures that are are pretty dated. And it's always the same people who pretty much wearing the same clothes or similar clothes can come off that curb so the orange arrow you notice there was yellow ones showing us our next destination the orange uh, will show up every now and then to uh, direct you towards uh, your final uh, stop uh, but there should be more bus stops so we may come across some more yellow arrows and the way we bring up those yellow arrows is we bring up, use the alt key, brings up the menu. Uh, it, it's not showing up on my uh, with my video recorder, so I'm going to overlay it and you can see how we use the alt key. This menu comes up and then on the, uh, the icon with the question mark, you click on that until the question mark turns yellow and then you'll have the navigation system bringing up these arrows for you uh, this guy is taking his time making a curb making a turn I mean and I go wide and well I still clipped <laughs> I clipped that medium and they're not happy about it, it takes a while to, to, to when you're driving a bus to get a feel for go, doing the wide turns and getting along the curbside and nicely. I did a pretty good job after I clipped everything, but I don't think she wants to get on. So we're going to go ahead and close the doors in her face and, and, and move on out here. Yeah, in another video, uh, I'll show you how to set up your route and, uh, so you can start a bus from scratch. But uh, there's actually, is, even though the graphics are dated for its time, I mean, it's a, there's plenty of building and textures and trees and, um, and just the driving the bus, i got to tell you, is really enjoyable. I love seeing these VW Vandegons, the, the dual-tone brown and tan ones, because I owned one in 1984. I owned a 1984 Vandegon for many years. Uh, I actually bought it in... I don't know, 87, 88, and owned it through the early 90s. I now regret ever getting rid of it. I love that thing. 
So, yeah, well, nice brake job. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm really struggling with getting a good brake job all the time. And uh, keeping everybody happy. If you set up your wheel and your pedals correctly, you probably won't have the difficulty I am. But on the 360 controller, I had to map the mouse to uh, one of the paddles. And then I also mapped the mouse to the triggers for the brakes and the gas. And it's a little bit tricky. F4 would get you uh, an external view. F3 gets you an external view. But F4 gets you an outside view that uh, you can watch the bus drive away of course when you do that it's hard to drive the bus so I'm, I'm weaving and winding all over the place but I back into the driver's seat with F1 and um, I got the settings so that if I run into a, a, a vehicle and it doesn't have a collision it's recommended that you set it that way because uh, there's just too many occurrences where the AIs do something funny and run into you. I mean, you may have noticed some of them running on my side of the road for some strange reason. But, yeah, I've, I've been really enjoying this game. It was a gift to me from my sons for my birthday. And... I wasn't so excited about it at first because the graphics are a little dated, but uh, the more I'm using it and playing with it, uh, it's just growing on me. It's just uh, a wonderful. Uh, the gameplay aspect is phenomenal. Hello. You know, sometimes you can have uh, you can have games that just look beautifully. The eye candy is outstanding. The graphics are great, but the playability is crap. You know. And so that's not the case here. The playability, the gameplay here is, is top notch. Um, and we're not even getting into this with the quick start. You know, I'm driving a bus with little knowledge and not even get into exchanging money or working with the ticketing system. I got the ticketing system set on easy. Actually, I got the ticketing set on uh, none. Which, in other words, uh, the passengers get on and off and you don't have to do anything. Uh, then you can set it on easy, and then what that means is the passengers will get on if they have a ticket and if they need to buy a ticket. You can hit a couple keys and you can buy a ticket and it automatically figures everything out for you. And then if you really want to get serious, you can set the ticketing system to it. I guess advance, I don't know what it's called. You got to talk to them, uh, uh, look at how much money they given you, hand them a ticket and give them the proper change. Otherwise, you stand there and, and uh, wait wait on you. So that's challenging. I've never even tried that, but the buses look beautiful in my mind. It, it, that that is what I think is modeled well, and I like the idea of driving the old the old time buses from the 80s or and, and 90s. I used to drive a bus myself, not around the city in uh, in, in the U.S. I would pick up uh, groups and, and take them skiing. And so I'd pick them up in one state and drive them across country to another state to go skiing or do anything they wanted to do. Sometimes we'd go down to the Florida Keys to go snorkeling. So the kind of bus driving I was doing was the type where you picked up groups and, you know, and took them to a destination. And um, that's more like what Fernbus does. The Fernbus looks beautiful. I really want to get that program. But my uh, my my two sons, they, they decided that uh, Fernbus would probably not run on my laptop. It has some optimization issues, and we're not sure whether it would even run at all. So they didn't want to get me something that wasn't playable. Uh, but this is there's no reason you couldn't have both because this is city driving, uh, and uh, although there's a free low freeware downloadable con uh, content, there's a couple of them where you actually drive a little further uh, and. Uh, Omsi too. Uh, whoops, I clipped the curb. 
takes a little bit of getting used to driving these buses around. Yeah, so I used to, uh, when I was driving buses, I, I drove them in the late 80s to in early, in actually all through the 90s. Um, uh, and really most of the time uh, in the volunteer mode to help you know, and, and occasionally uh, and during um, especially in the 90s just a few weeks out of the year but yeah there was a season uh, where I was driving buses for for a few months, uh, and then I then I would do it occasionally over the course of the years. Uh, look at this! If if you stop the bus and you're not close enough to the curb, they don't come out. They won't. They won't come out to the, and walk across. You got to get it. <laughs> Oh gosh, I got it close to the curb now. I got the signpost right in the bus with me. But you know, yeah, if you get it up to the curb, the, the, sometimes they'll step out on the street. But nah, you can't get it too far off. So, I um, hope you enjoyed uh, the video and uh, are able to get up and running. Uh, been able to observe and how you can uh, look at the different key commands and get a feel for the overall driving and then uh, now now we can explore the detail of the particulars but uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time